All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to some of our Pokemon Ultra Sun Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. Hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. Remember that if every single episode this week does hit over 750 likes, there will be an hour long episode coming your way this weekend. I promise you have my word. With all that being said, here we are, I believe, in Heia Heia City. I don't exactly know what it's called, but I think. That's right, and all of our team members are leveling up. So for the for actually the first time, I think the team is looking clean, pristine, supreme, whatever you want to say. I've been saying it the whole time because you know it's true, but now we actually have a fully leveled up squad. I think fully evolved too. I might be wrong, but we do have Fanboy, the level 22 Rotom Fan, Charge Beam, Sludge, Thunder, and Fairy Wind. And you guys have been telling me that I can go ahead and change Rotom's form in uh, Professor Kukui's lab. I just gotta go play with like the boxes or something like that. That's a really good point. For now, I think the moveset is really, really good on Rotom Fan. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because each Rotom form is going to have a different randomized level up moveset, a different ability, a different typing and all that stuff because that's how the randomizer does it with like different forms. So um, we can go check it, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep uh, fanboy over here uh, in a different Rotom form unless something is ten times better uh, But for now we do have fanboy yo, uh, you can read it. You can see it. It's got the wise glasses now I figured it'd be better than having it on um forehead because we got all special moves here You know the drill then we do have forehead at level 26 quick attack thunderbolt blaze kick in thousand waves now with the fiery MZ I figured why not we can do uh, some inferno overdrive with the blaze kick and uh, just dish out, dish out hella damage. That's what we're doing. And we do have Storm the Thunderous with X Scissors, Smart Strike, Brick Break, and Beat Up. I did teach it Smart Strike. And, uh, Smart Strike. Excuse me. I can't even say that name. Uh, he's also got the Tangle Feet ability, and now holding the Silver Powder to boost uh, X Scissor just by a little bit. Then we do have God of Space, who leveled up a little bit accidentally uh, while I was off screen, but it's all right. Thunder Shock Facade, a Bubble, and Boomerang with the Water MZ now uh, because you know we have Bubble, which isn't the best move in the world, so we can power it up. Uh, for a Hydro Vortex, whatever it's called, and you know what? Maybe we'll be chilling. Then we do have Luna, the newly uh, caught Musharna with Luster Purge, Charge Beam, Bounce, and Steel Wing. And then we do have Flora, the Aromatisse, who's got Ice Bang, Sun Steel Strike, Aurora Beam, and Ice Hammer. So the goal for today is to use some of our uh, new party members, such as, uh, not God of Space, Flora, Luna. I'm trying to move them, but it's kind of hard when I can't see the screen. I'm doing it like on the bottom screen. This is difficult, man. What the heck? There we go. Let's put Flora right up there. There we go. All right, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Then we have you uh, been using Storm a little bit, so Storm's like last priority right now. All right, well, let's go into Diglett Tunnel. We already got an encounter here, so we cannot get another one, but it's all right. I think we got the Mega Steelix here, which is pretty freaking crazy. Um, yeah, I know some stuff goes down here. What's up, Olivia? Yeah, that's another thing I was gonna talk about. We have to go ahead and follow Olivia around. I don't know if we're taking her on this episode, but Either way, hmm, oh, super, wasn't it? Uh, this cave really is something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett. Oh, I forgot that the Pokemon, like, come out and follow you in the overworld. Ah, uh, it's like my, it's like my least favorite thing out of all Pokemon games. Uh, it's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. Oh, wow. Uh, so how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Super. Nice work. I see you've, uh, see you've even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down. <laughs> if you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the end of it, you will find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. All right, well, that's interesting. And she just stays there. <laughs> she doesn't leave. Like, she said she'll see us there, but I guess she's just going to meet up with us. All right. Well, I did buy some Super Pels. I bought some Hyper Potions. I bought Ultra Balls all off screen, so we are prepared. Did I not use the Super Repel, or is this Pokemon going to be higher leveled than uh, whoever we have out front? Fanboy. It's got, it's got to be higher than level 22, if that's the case. It is level 22. Okay, well, that makes sense. That's so funny. I put it on. I put the Super Repel on, and then literally first step. Or maybe not first, but whatever. It was almost the first step we encounter a Pokemon. It's like the whole point of a Super Repel just thrown out the window. In a matter of like negative two seconds. Did I use one? I used one, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy. All right, so I guess there's higher level Pokemon here. If it gets really bad, we can just swap out the God of Space. And I've got a space up front, so then these Pokemon won't appear. And I think I'm gonna actually do that because, oh, hi. 
Damn, this cave is powerful. It had Mega Steelix, Jirachi now, and of course that Pyroar. Yeah, this thing's level 23. All right, hop out of there. See ya. I'm just gonna put God of Space uh, or Forehead. It doesn't even matter. Up front, sincerely, so we can uh, not encounter these Pokemon. If we get in front of a battle, I can swap someone out, but... Oh, whoops. Yeah, controlling the bottom screen while I'm looking... Like, I can't see where my finger is tapping on the bottom screen if I'm looking at my computer screen, which does have my game on it. It's really confusing, because I have my DS down here. A lot of people ask if I play on them. The Citra emulator, no, I play on a D, uh, uh, 3DS with a capture card. It's just how I do it. I know some people do use the emulator, and uh, if you have a good enough computer, you can actually get it to look really, really nice. But my computer isn't good enough for that, and also I kind of just like the auth like authenticity of playing it on a 3DS. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Okay, well... Team Aether people, hopefully they don't want to fight. I don't think they do. Phew, with Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Yeah, I don't think these dudes want to battle because we don't know they're evil yet. Oh, Alola, members of the Aether Foundation, we work to support Pokemon conservation. Seems like Team Skull was responsible for the uh, for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of trouble, uh, troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. What? Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. Uh, we're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface though, so be careful. I got you. I'll be careful. Trust me, I'm on a Tauros right- I'm on a Tauros if any Diglett decides to mess with someone on a Tauros, that's a death wish. Dude, if someone, like, if I saw someone riding a Tauros, I would not mess with them. That's just, that's just common sense. Dude, these Diglets are so entitled. They think they are powerful enough to take down someone who is riding a Tauros. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna use Flora here because I don't really want to heal fanboy right now, but I do want to take on this trainer because I want to hit someone with an ice hammer. That's all I've been trying to do. For, for the past couple, oh, ever since we got this thing, really. Not past couple episodes. I keep forgetting when we get these Pokemon. It's really been like an episode. Um, I've been just wanting to Ice Hammer something, but we never could. We never really could because it was too, uh, Florida was too low leveled, so I didn't, I didn't want Florida to die. That would have just been stupid. All right, uh, Turbo Blaze. Honestly, I don't even know what Turbo Blaze does. I seriously don't. I think, do we take Recoil from this? We're gonna see. We're got oh, that's super effective. You know what? This doesn't kill. I'm getting out of here. Speed fell. Honestly, I don't think a focus blast could kill me, but we're not taking chances out here. Hell no. Yeah, we can go out to this thing. We times four resist focus blast. Bring it on, buddy! Come on, little bird. Let's go. I actually really, really like Oricorio Sensu form. That's probably my favorite, uh. Damn, where all all my Pokemon to start radiating aura as soon as they <laughs> as soon as they hit the battlefield. Damn. But yeah, Oricorio Sensu is probably my favorite uh, Oricorio form. I don't really know why, it's just cool looking. I like the purple color scheme. I got a lot of pink and purple Pokemon. Look at this, we got the pink on right now. Special defense fell. Can you just please die? Be deceased, please. Oh yeah, I taught Charge Beam just because I want another special move on Luna. I didn't see the point in having only one special type move, or special move, not special type move. I mean that, given that one move is Luster Purge, and it is Stab, it's a really, really good move too. Uh, but whatever comes out is about to get destroyed. We are plus one right now. I'm about to Luster Purge this thing. Come on. Temp oh. Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy, I am sorry. Oh, he's gone. Well. See ya. Now, call me crazy, but I'm not scared of this shadow. Oh, we don't have full health. Okay, I knew we were gonna eat that up, but there was just something in me that was like, if I lose this Pokemon right here, I'm gonna look really stupid. Bop! Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if that doesn't kill though, that there's something up. Because the thing said it was effective, like, not super effective, but it's at least gonna be neutral. And if I can't kill a temple with plus one, a stab, neutral, uh, neutral effective luster purge, and that's a bit ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Um, let's heal up now, though. There's no point in not. I can waste my super, or use my super potions in the overworld. I just have, a, I think I have 15 hyper potions now. Just so if we need to, like, heal someone up in battle. 16, wow. Just so we need to heal someone up in battle all the way to full, we can. 
you know, in case we're ever fighting, uh, you know, Salazzle or Deoxys defense form. You know what may help it, may help. I'm not sure though, I'm not quite sure. All right, let's run away though. I'm tired of seeing all this cool Pokemon that I couldn't get. I mean, we did get a really, really good Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, let's go to forehead. Let's just run away. Let's smile and wave. All right. What type is this thing? Fiery Day. Look at this move set. Well, I want a Jirachi so bad now. Oh my goodness. That move set was hella good. All right. Um. Damn. Fiery Dance was the first move, Aero Blast. I know it was some strong uh, flying type move, I'm pretty sure. I don't really remember. I'm pretty sure it was Aero Blast. Not that it exactly matters what it was. It just furthers my point that that Pokemon had an amazing move set. And that's all I want to do. Yeah, but we need a Jirachi now. I mean, I would have already appreciated a Jirachi no matter what moves it had. But just seeing that makes me really, really want one. Oh, la, 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 la. I just realized I did not have to take on that trainer earlier. I thought I did, but we just did a loop. Ah, oh, no way. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo, I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up. But since when can Diglett use beat up? I don't know, man. I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were uh, the fool. It was dumb enough to be here right now. Supra. Oh, we get to double battle? Hey! I was wondering who you were playing around with, uh, playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. You want some? Now we're here to say hello. Nice number, you punks. All right, I really hope. That's a double battle. I don't think it is, but... Oh, it is. Cool. Whoa! What are the chances? It's the punk boy who's like the uh, knockoff Team Skull. And they're uh, swapped out for the Team Skull. That's really funny. I mean, granted, the other person looks nothing like a Team Skull member, but still. You know what I mean. And that does not look like how. He's got a shift tree? Ooh. It's a little clean, I'm not gonna lie. All right, um, let's use Fanboy. Fanboy has not claimed his first victim yet. We need that to happen. I don't care if it's the Spinda, the Shelmet. I don't even care if it's the Shiftry. Someone is dying. <laughs> I love that move's animation. It is so cool. Oh, and also, apparently the reason why we don't have the Incinium Z, even though I took it off of Kadabra, is because we never had it in our, um, in our bag anyways. Like, someone pointed out that you still have the Z Crystal if you uh, give it to a Pokemon. So when we didn't have it in our bag and we took it out, the game was just like, oh, you don't have it. And yeah. Uh, should I try to Thunder you? I mean, I feel like he's just going to Spirit Shackle it. Ooh, we got the Thunder. Come on. First victim. Be super effective. All right. Well, the effort, the effort counts. Avalanche. Ew! That sound effect when Shifter used Avalanche. I never want to see Shifter use Avalanche again. Uh, it was like, nah, nah. oh my. That was Zing Zap. Yo, that's really, really good. That's that's amazing. Thunderbolt. Bye. I know it's you know, uh, Zing Zap's like ten points weaker, but we have a better physical attack stat, so there's no point in not doing it. That's really, really good. I, uh, I got Zing Zap confused with Nuzzle for a second. I was like, oh, and you're a quick attack for Nuzzle. Or Zing Zap, whatever. But I was like, oh, there's some guaranteed paralysis, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Nuzzle is so broken. Man, Supra, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to... It's a revive. Oh, no. You know what? I'll take it. Thank you, bro. Max Ethers are pretty clean. Wait, there's a Rotom uh, PP Restore? I mean, I guess I would know if I play with my Rotom more. Come on, buddy. Talk to me. Hey. What's up? Hey. Oh, wait. Here we go. We got one. All right. I don't know what that is. There's a berry on it. HP. Hey. Okay, I'll take that. You know what? Let me talk to you again, buddy. Hey. Oh, I can't talk to him. I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, my Rotom looks so upset with me last episode. He, oh, he looks a little better. He looks a little better now. Look at him. He's blinking. <laughs> that means his eyes are functional. This is where we got the Mega Metagross. 
Oh, a trial goer. Uh, oh wait, a trial going trainer, are you? You are. <laughs> Looker is my name. I travel the world and many lands do I visit for my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place, so very peaceful. Most ideal for a vacation. Whatever he said. I was just in Kony Kony City where I got a most unusual stone at Miss Olivia's shop. No one here is so terrible as to try to create a new world or liberate all Pokemon from their trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Though, concerns I have about those reported sightings of the infamous Pokemon Mafia. Hello? Ah, oh, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone. Okay. I will take it. I don't need one right now, but... Sure. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get an encounter. Oh, no, 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 sir. No, 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 no. We don't mess with the police, bro. Never mess with the police. If you lose, if you win the battle, they arrest you. <laughs> That's how it goes. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, I remember this. This is where we got the Mega Metagross. All right. Can we get something even more powerful? Probably not. It's a Mega Metagross. Let's go. I like the fishing encounters because the waves go. Ooh, that's cool. An Umbreon. I will take that. I will take an Umbreon any day of the week. All right, Um, you see, I, I normally dislike Umbreon just because if you're going up against one, it can be such a pain, but if it's on the other side of the field and you're giving someone else a pain, I like Umbreon, it's dope. And it has Fleur Cannon. Yo, that's really, really good. I mean, granted, it lowers your special attack, but if you can kill things with it. All right, um, what's the moves? What's the move? What's the move? If I can figure out what type it is, I can maybe like go for a really, really weak move or something, but until then I get, oh, I don't have any quick balls or anything. I just got to ultra ball this thing. Master ball, let's go. I mean, I shouldn't have a Master Ball at this point in the game, and we still will get a Master Ball. So, I mean, if I want to use it, I can just use it anytime I want. This thing's probably a Fairy-type. It's just used two Fairy moves. I mean, it would make sense. Let's see if I'm right. Maybe it just keeps using Fairy moves or something like that. One. Two. Come on. Nice. That was an easy catch. Also, the ball matches Umbreon. Yo, that is perfect. That is perfect. I didn't even do that intentionally. All right, look at that. We got an Umbreon. I gotta name this thing something. You know what? I gotta do it. My boy Mystic Umbreon. I gotta name this thing Mystic. Shout out to my dude. All right. Yep, I gotta name it Mystic. That's how it works. Shout out to the boy. All right. You see, I, I mostly just did it because I don't have to think of another nickname, and that sounds good. It sounds cool. All right, um, fairy type. I was right. Aromatic mist raises the special defense stat. Aroma veil holding a moon ball. What are the freaking chances that it holds a moon ball and it's an Umbreon? Okay, well, it's a good move set. 130 base power. I could see this being a potential team member. Like, if anything happens to Rota, Calm Nature too. That's not bad. Um, if anything happens to Rotom, he's right there. Oh, I don't know if it was he or she. If it was a she and I named it Mystic, that's actually really freaking funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, also, I want to point this out. I figured this out when I was teaching TMs during, uh, off screen when I was, like, leveling up my Mons. Look at this. Look at the, uh, TM's description. It's probably going to say with a watery blast. The user can't move on the next turn. That sounds a lot like Hydro Cannon. The user faints when using this move. In return, this harshly lowers the target's attack and special attack stats. Uh, is that Memento? User throws up a sturdy wall that sharply barrier. Yeah, I just realized that the TM descriptions are randomized. Obviously, the move isn't actually randomized, but um, it's really, really weird. So I send that to Mizumi, and I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> he doesn't even know what's going on. So that's interesting. Uh, we might give it another try to uh, randomize TMs. And if that happens, we'll uh, figure out what's going on. Uh, I can just, we can look at what TM is randomized to what, and then we can just replace my uh, bag with randomized TMs. Um, I might do that. If not, whatever. Just like whatever TM we get from now on will be randomized. And that's probably what's gonna 
end up being the case if we fix it. Uh, that dude that runs in the background freaking cracks me up. He is certain. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that dude, there was a dude in the background, full karate gear, sprinting <laughs> through the town. I'm like, uh, wait, TMs, hello. I don't think I have any money. I spent it like all. Uh, bulldoze is good. I might have to come back for bulldoze. Might just have to. All right. Damn, I really wish we had Fleur Cannon on um, Fanboy. Because we have Fairy Wind, which is decent, but... I mean, it's base 40 power. With Stab, I think it's base 60, because it's... Isn't it 1.5 boost? No. How much is Stab? Whatever. It's a, it's not a great move, even with Stab. Of course, we do have a decent special attack stat. We do have the Wise Glasses, so it kind of makes up for it, but... I want, like, Moonblast, Fleur Cannon, something that is uh, better than Fairy Wind. No pass. Pokemon is holding a letter. You take the letter and read it. Olivia here. This is Probopass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life past Memorial Hill, where you can... Okay. Well, see you, dude. This looks a lot like a hotel or an inn or something. That just made me think of the Drake and Josh episode where they open their house and it's like a hotel or like an inn where they give like the bed and breakfast to that family. Dude, that episode was so freaking funny. I love Drake and Josh. What a great show. What a great show. All right. I mean, most of my childhood, I wasn't really able to watch Drake and Josh. And that's not because like my parents thought it was too crude or whatever, because it really wasn't. It wasn't at all. But um, I remember my bedtime until I was like, Eight was 8.30, and we would always watch Spongebob at 8 until 8.30, and then Drake and Josh came on at 8.30, and it was my bedtime, so I could never really stay up and watch it. So I had to watch, like, reruns and never, like, the new episodes. All right, well, on that note, I think that's a great place to go ahead and uh, wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. 750 likes on this episode and the rest of the episodes throughout this week, and there will be an hour-long episode coming your way this weekend, 100%. You have my word, with all that being said, I'll catch you guys later, peace out.